Hi, my name is Scott Safier. I'm the Sergeant of the Traffic Management Bureau here at the Evanston Police Department. The four officers and I who work within the Traffic Bureau work to reduce traffic crashes and reckless driving behaviors through enforcement, as well as investigation of traffic crashes and hit and runs. Over the past several months in the city of Evanston, there's been an increase in pedestrian-related crashes, some of them involving juveniles. This has been a concern to both members of the police department, as well as community members and elected officials. Therefore, this seemed to be the appropriate time to take a moment and send a message to the Evanston community about the dangers of certain driving behaviors, as well as the dangers of certain behaviors undertaken by bicyclists and pedestrians in the city. The most common infractions that we find today are people not wearing their seatbelts, using their cell phones, running stop signs, and speeding. Usually there's a combination of the four of those things when we stop a vehicle. The purpose of us stopping those vehicles are to educate our citizens on the rules of the road and to keep them safe while they're driving. I'm usually the person that responds to these crashes when people don't have their seatbelts on and they're on the ground or they had a cell phone in their hand and they hit a kid that was crossing the street. The last thing people wanna do is do something like that and remember it every single time they drive. Traffic safety is important because there are thousands of people on the road at any given point in time. We wanna make sure that everyone's paying attention and they're not distracted from pedestrians to bicyclists to drivers. We also increase our traffic enforcement efforts around major holiday periods. Nationwide, there's an increase in injuries and deaths due to reckless and impaired driving behaviors around the holidays. There are certain seemingly innocent actions that can be undertaken by drivers, pedestrians, or bicyclists that can unknowingly or knowingly lead to injuries or even death. For example, a vehicle traveling 35 miles per hour on the roadway is actually covering just over 50 feet per second. A driver that looks down at their phone for even two seconds and then perceives and takes an additional one second to react to a hazard has covered 150 feet driving down the road. For obvious reasons, that's extremely dangerous, and if a hazard unknowingly presents itself during that time, certain avoidable crashes are no longer avoidable. Our collective goal in traffic enforcement is not to be punitive. It truly is to reduce traffic crashes and injuries throughout the city. Prior to 2023, the city of Evanston went four and a half years without a fatal traffic crash. While we're very proud of these accomplishments, we also know that anytime a community member is injured or killed, it has a great impact throughout the city. It's important that we continue with our efforts related to traffic safety for the protection of our residents and visitors.